Yo, what is up YouTube? My name's Aaron and today we're going to be talking about the season pass. Now, this seems to be a big topic and I really do want to touch on it. I think I can clarify some things for you guys and hopefully I can make you, you know, a little bit more aware of your purchase or lack thereof. Maybe you hear this and you're like, no, I don't want that and you don't get it. That's what the point of this video is. So by the end of this video, hopefully you guys are a little bit more educated on season pass. And if you already know all there is to know, just leave a like and go ahead and click that exit button for those of you that want to learn. Let's go. So the season pass is $50. That's the price, no matter what console you get it for, unless you're trying to get it for the 360 or the PS3, which in case it is zero, it costs nothing because it's not there. It's not, you can't have it for the last generation consoles because last generation is not going to get DLC. I don't want to go on a tangent there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go back to la or next generation consoles. So you get for fifty dollars access to four DLC sessions, and each session or season, whatever you want to call it, comes with this is the norm: four multiplayer maps, one co-op map, and maybe a gun. Like that's that's iffy because sometimes it does not. But I think during Black Ops 3 and kind of looking back in our past, it might, you know, it's something to look forward to. But this year, I think the DLC is gonna be bigger than ever. I mean, this game at launch is bigger than ever. So I'm kind of expecting four or more multiplayer maps. Two zombie maps, that's almost confirmed because, you know, you can go back and watch some other videos that I talk about and it's pretty much confirmed that we're probably going to get two zombie maps per DLC session or season. And I'm also looking forward to maybe a little bit of campaign missions, like kind of add-in missions, something that you and your friends can do. Definitely nothing too big, like not a new campaign, but like a little bit more, you know, just something else you can do cooperatively. And, you know, that's a big thing. And I think, don't hold me to it, I think Black Ops 3 will deliver this year. And if you're on Xbox One, it's kind of, you get about a month to decide longer than PlayStation. Because you can see what it actually comes with. And if it's what you like, and you're like, okay, I'm ready for this DLC season, then go ahead and get it. But, before you do that... Just ask yourself one question. What edition of Black Ops 3 are you getting? And do your, well, two questions. And do you care about zombies? Because the season pass is actually coming with an extra map this year. And it's coming with the Giant or Darius if you've played World of War Black Ops 1 Zombies, which is very big. I love the map, great map. And they're bringing it back. So you actually do get that on day one, no matter what console you're on. You know, PlayStation does not get that map first in this scenario, but you do get the map nonetheless. If you do have Hardened Edition or Juggernaut Edition, however, you do not need to make the rush to get the game or get the season pass. You can wait for a little bit. So if you have the Hardened Edition, you're in the clear. But if you do not, I would... You know, I would suggest go ahead and get it on midnight release. You do not need to pre-order. You can actually go in and ask for it, and they will give it to you. They, they'll they have enough in stock. Trust me on that one. And, you know, hopefully you guys have learned a little bit from this, because let me tell you what I'm getting. And I hate to gloat, but I'm getting the Juggernaut Edition. But if I was not going to get this, I was planning on getting the Hardened Edition and the Season Pass. Like, the Season Pass is definitely worth every single penny, and especially for this game, you'll have a ball. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.